Christ's candle, and while Landon lights this white candle, I want us to hear from Luke chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. We're told nothing of the journey itself. Four days on the road, sometimes walking, mostly riding a donkey, we would guess. It would have been excruciating for Mary, who was near term, in that wobbling, clumsy stage of pregnancy. They looked for lodgings when they arrived in Bethlehem. Apparently, they had no family there. The local inn has no room, but they're given a stable as a shelter. Tradition says it was a cave. In that humble setting, Mary gives birth to the Christ child. Joseph hears the squalling of a newborn, quieted as he finds his mother's breast. And this new family of three hold on to each other and to the promises God has given them. Later, shepherds bearing glorious tales of angels find them. This is how God intended that his only son be brought into the world. A newborn and his freshly minted parents in a cattle stable. The glory of heaven brought down to earth. God humbling himself so that even the most humble is invited to come. Come today to see the Christ child afresh as we greet Christmas Day, His Day. We pray, Father, thank you for the gift of your Son, for sending Him into the world to be our Savior, who will save His people from their sins, our sins. Thank you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Landon. We're going to continue singing, and that is found on page 83. If you'll want once more, open your hymnal, and we will sing it came 93. It came upon a midnight clear. Oh, yeah. 
rushing low, whose voice. 